Welcome to MacGyver Engineering one more time. This time I want to show you how to cut a double glazed window. I know you shouldn't never do that, but well, it's cheap enough uh, so I can experiment for myself. Uh, first of all, I need to try uh, to cut it straight. So I have this triangular uh, aluminum uh, piece of, uh, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> I will call it profile and um, you know glass has to be very clean you need to use some cutting oil or uh, you know I'm using white spirit at th this point and this is the main thing you need to do tapping 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 and one more time tapping uh, never hit the score never hit the score try to go all around it but never hit the score because that will cause something that you will observe in this video I I know that I hit that at this point and this is what was the effect of it um, now as to the time as you can see I can uh, I, I'm doing this video a little bit faster in some points because it will last at least 10 times as long as you can uh, see it so um, now the the th thing I'm going to uh, do over here is to insert a screw. Uh, I'm basically using um, you know a, a power drill and I'm drilling a little hole and uh, you know basically trying to add some tension under the uh, score and you have to be quite precise with that you shouldn't go too much left or right because this will happen and not too much tension of course uh, this is not a big problem it happened on the outer side so it, it doesn't really bother me at this point what bothers me is that I lost the tension at this point so I need to do it some other way uh, as you can see the score appeared and it goes longer and longer and here you can see in the slow motion <laughs> how the score looks and when it goes out of line yeah so basically mm, what I will do is you know do exactly the same thing from the other side this time I will be much more careful with uh, applied force and uh, you know the, the, the place where the um, screw is, is uh, you know going in and of course a lot of tapping 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 allow all around the place you know the glass will uh, shatter only in the place where is the w the weakest it will not go you know somewhere where it's strongest so if you have a scored glass and you tap it all around uh, you know without damaging the surface then the score has to go deeper and um, the problem with double glazed window is that it's glued all around so it's kept quite forcefully into place so it's not really easy to bend it uh, okay after having it done I'm uh, cutting uh, all over the you know I'm trying to basically separate the glass from the inner frame um, of course speed times 10 or something like that and uh, yeah finally you will be able to take it out so um, removing this little nipple <laughs> in the middle of it wasn't a really big problem I just used uh, pliers to do that now the other side the other side went like through the butter you know of course white spirit not too much not too little and uh, do not uh, you know remove it just just you know move it all around the place so it will be wet and yeah where is my straight line ah here it is <laughs> okay not too much tension not too little tension you have to 
take a piece of old glass and uh, you know do some exercise before doing that unless you work in the glass you know shop then you know exactly how it operates and tapping 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 but this time you will see uh, I will not even apply you know almost any force and it will go you see and it's done now of course the second part of it I need to remove the screws from the other side because it was there and this is how the inner frame looks so it is filled with um, silica uh, powder uh, it's basically um, you know uh, humidity absorber I'm not gonna need those uh, short pieces but I'm gonna need the long piece of the um, inner frame and of course I need to remove some of this black bitumic mass that the w window is uh, sealed with so here you can see I already inserted the inner frame into its place and uh, I'm ready to perform the filling. I'm going to use this roof and gutter sealant. This is not the proper thing to do that, but once again, I don't care. I do it for, let's say, um, proof of concept purposes. <laughs> and uh, just before I will close it, I'm taking a vacuum cleaner and I try to suck up, suck out a little bit of air. I hope this would uh, help to, you know, to, to make it a little bit more, um, you know, um, to suck in a little bit of the sealant I, I, I just pushed into it. So it's, you know, it's black, it looks <laughs> almost exactly, but it's not the same stuff. So uh, I will definitely turn it, uh, the, those, this part up, so it will never have a chance to, let's say, to stay in the water. And that's it. More videos coming soon.